Well, hello, my friends. I'm excited to be here with Simone Weber. She is the CEO of Table Grace Ministries and Musical Missionary. Simone, thank you so much for joining me today. It's a pleasure to be here. Thanks for the invitation. Well, I want I want to just dive right into and talk about Table Grace Ministries. Um, for those who might not be familiar, uh, just why don't you kind of give us the mission and 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 kind of the just an overall um, kind of look at, at what you do. Absolutely. So Table Grace Ministries, um, we're an outreach here in Omaha, and our main outreach hub is Table Grace Cafe in downtown Omaha at 1611 and a half Farnham Street. Our mission and vision is nourishing hungry bodies and souls through music. And so we uh, have a community cafe with no prices on our menu. We invite people every day to come in and have really healthy food made from scratch. A lot of it is donated from local um, grocery stores and um, gardens and things like that. We have a partnership with Saving Grace Food Rescue, and we serve the community uh, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. Just recently, we opened for breakfast in February, so we're excited that we're also oh, offering specialty yeah. coffee, and um, and then we're having you know breakfast sandwiches, hot and ready meals, and then at lunch, it's pizza, salad, and soup. And when you come to Table Grace, you're greeted a little bit differently. Uh, we usually say, welcome to Table Grace. Would you like to volunteer or donate today? So people can either make a donation and pay it forward to others, or they can um, volunteer for their meal. And so we also have Mobile Grace food truck that can go in every area of the community. We offer music ministry in the cafe. And also that's part of how we do our fundraising is we take the music out to community events and churches and anywhere that they want sure. us. To come. <laughs> so. Well, let me ask you a quick question then. So what is volunteer for your meal? What, can, what does that mean? So when somebody comes in to volunteer for their meal, we have a task list in the back and one of our managers for the day will kind of oversee the tasks. And so if somebody's um, willing to do things like, you know, wash the table, sweep the floor, wash the windows, um, there's there's kitchen tasks as well if people are skilled to do that. And there's some basic food handling that we'll coach people with. Um, okay. So yeah, it's about 15 minutes of a volunteer task to help contribute for the day. Wonderful. So where did this vision come from? Great question. Um, my husband is a chef and I'm a singer songwriter and ministry leader. And we, uh, back in 2008, put our heads together and said, if we could do something for the rest of our lives um, with our skills and talents, what would that look like? And we had seen other musicians linking themselves to Compassion International and World Vision. And so every time you went to their concert, you would hear a sponsor a child. And so we thought, well, what could we do with our skills that would invite people into a mission in our community every time we went out and shared our music? Um, so we came up with um, Nourishing Hungry Bodies and Souls back then in 2008, started with personal chef service to single parent families, and then we did music tours. After about three years, we realized that wasn't far reaching enough because we were only taking care of about four families at the time. And we had we had received a volunteer group from Lincoln who came to help prepare fresh produce. And they had just been to a cafe in Denver called the same cafe, same stands for so all may eat. And so Matt flew down there, learned everything he could about this community oh. cafe with no prices on their menu. Um, he was just blown away with the concept and did, hadn't ever heard of something before. So we learned about these community cafes back in 2010 Okay. And that's kind of where we we got the idea. We learned about the One World Everybody Eats organization, which now has a network of, I don't know, over 70 cafes across the United mm -hmm. States. But back then it was just a handful of about yeah. five or six of us. And so, yeah, that's where it came from. No prices on the menu. And here we are. <laughs> what a, I mean, what a great story. And um, yeah, what a great story. Uh, I do want to talk about a, a couple things. You, um, we've got a fundraiser coming up here in a few days. Um, so talk about the the gala and voices of transformation, and what's kind of special about this. We have an amazing guest artist that's coming this year. His name is Paul Oman. He's out of Wisconsin. He's going to start at the beginning um, with a blank canvas. And by the end of the event, after original music that we've written and um, stories and scriptures and um, impact stories and all those kinds of things, 
Uh, we will have a beautiful mural that will be hanging at Table Grace. Title of the mural is going to be Marketplace Worship because so, uh, once a month we have an opportunity to come together with a visiting pastor from Morningstar Lutheran Church and other congregations, and we share, um, you know, we share in communion and prayer and all these kind of things. And so we meet people where they are. And yeah. there was a very magnificent experience that happened about a year ago that we're going to be sharing about at our gala. And so we have Paul coming to paint this mural so that it can hang at Table Grace Cafe. Okay. And if you're not able to come to the fundraiser or if you missed it, um, you can come to Table Grace Cafe for breakfast or lunch um, as long as it's hanging and see this yeah. beautiful work of art um, that will be happening on March 10th at St. Thomas Lutheran Church. Wonderful. And um, I want to make sure we just talk briefly because I know that there's there's still planning around this. It's Table Grace the Musical. So can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah. So our friend and co-writer Jay Gish and I have written a musical entitled Table Grace the Musical based on the mission and impact that the community cafe has on our community. And, you know, we highlight things like the job experience program where people can come in and get 10 days of job experience and really change their lives and go out there and find a job. Um, we also highlight characters that are fictional but are based on um, people that we've met along the way that really have, um, we've seen a turnaround in their lives and gotten to witness those things. I've written all the songs um, and Jay has written the book and we are working with local, um, the local theater, Benson Theater, and looking at what the dates might be where we can hey. launch this as a fully staged musical. We've done already the table read and the stage reading. So now we're going to put, you know, choreography and costumes and lights and all those kind of fun things and we just hope it's a it's another way for people to really understand the mission of table grace ministries because yeah. it's really experiential you know if you haven't been there we invite you to come to table grace yeah. cafe come to one of our food truck events book our truck book our music um, be a part of the impact in the community it's really exciting yeah. oh my gosh so many great things um happening and, uh, and again, what a great story. So we will continue to have conversations with you, especially as the, the musical gets closer. And um, I know people can go to your website, which is www.tablegracecafe.com. And I know it's probably right there below the screen as you're saying that, but um, uh, you know, we've got about 30 seconds less left. So I'm going to let anything else you want viewers to know. Well, we'd love it if you would consider supporting Table Grace Ministries with a donation. You can do that through our website. You can also consider leaving a legacy gift. Um, and I know a lot of us don't like to think of legacy end of life giving, but it's a really important way to make sure that the community cafe and the impact that we're having goes on for years and years and decades and you know beyond those of us who are participating in it now, because we have seen lives transformed and we wanna see that continue. Yeah. What a beautiful, yeah. What a beautiful message. And um, yeah, what a wonderful organization. So thank you to you and your husband, Matt, for everything that you guys have done um, and continue to do. So Simone, thank you. Absolutely. And thank you too. We appreciate the opportunity. 